Welcome to the Gibbscam 5 Minute Demo. Today we're going to show you five items, some that have been in there for a while, some are new you may have not used before. The first one is called Zoom to Mouse. As you know, when you zoom up Gibbs, it's going to zoom the middle of the screen. Let's say using your middle mouse button, roll it, always zooms the middle of the screen. Well, now you can do a Zoom to Mouse. To turn that on, go to File, Preferences, the Interface tab, click on Zoom to Mouse Cursor. Now notice when I put my mouse, say, over on the corner, it'll just zoom that corner up. Maybe the hole. Notice it's just going to zoom up that hole there. So a very nice feature. The next item is called Shrink Visible. You know when you bring in a part into Gives a Saw Model, for instance, and do a shrink wrap, it'll wrap material around the part. But when you have other parts on there and you do a shrink wrap, it's going to wrap material around everything on your screen. Well, now they've added Shrink Visible. First, let's put these three items in the body bag. You can see the old stock size. Go to View, now Shrink Wrap Visible. You can see now it wrap material around my new part there. Let's bring back these items out of the body bag. Now we're going to show you how to use multiple process along with the profiler. Bring in our tool palette, load our tools. This time it's going to be a NMV, sorry, NVX. And there's our tools. Open up our cam palette there. So what I want to do on this part here is I want to pre-drill holes in all these slots and the holes here with a three-quarter inch drill. Then I want to come back with a half-inch end mill, rough all these out, come back with a half-inch finished end mill, finish them, and then chamfer them. This is really nice uh, with the profiler. You don't have to use it with the profiler, but it makes things even faster. So I'm going to bring up a drilling process. Bring up my tiles back to one. Next one, roughing process. Next, contour. Next, another contour. I'm going to use a three-quarter inch drill to drill through my part first. Again, I'm going to highlight this box. I'm just going to put zero in there. And we're going to interrogate the solid by holding down the Alt key, clicking on the bottom of the part. You can see it puts in three quarters. So our material is three quarter inches thick. I'm going to go just a little bit below that surface there with my drill. And of course, update your RPM and feed rate. Notice there's a tab that says pre mill. We want to put a checkbox in this here where it says entry. What that'll do is it'll drill a hole before the end mill cuts these out and go exactly where the drill drilled into the part. Very nice feature. So our three-quarter inch drill. Next, our half-inch rough end mill. Again, I'm going to go minus 0.780, somewhere around there, 770, whatever you'd like there, just so you through your part. It's a roughing process, so I don't need to do an entry and exit there. I'm going to leave a little bit of stock on there. Of course, update your RPM and feed rate. Next, I'm going to use a half-inch finish end mill. Come in and finish them. We'll keep the same depth there. A little bit of an entry and exit there, and no stock. And I'll turn cutter radius comp on. The last thing I want to do is chamfer around this part. I'm going to take my combination um, spot drill chamfer tool, and I'm going to go below the surface just 200 thousandths. These are a 60,000 chamfer, so on my stock size, I'm going to put a negative 60,000 chamfer. That'll force the end mill into my, my material by 60 thousandths there. Now I'm going to turn on the profiler. I'm going to drag my profiler just a little bit below the top surface there. Notice you can right click and, and uh, tell it a certain depth. You can put in a depth. You can alt click whatever depth you want. You can see how that updates. So you can tell the depth you want it to go. Very nice feature there. I'm just going to drag it just below the chamfer there, as you can see. And I'm going to now select what I want to cut, just by holding down the Control key, clicking on Do It. And if we go to Cut Part Render, you can see it drills the holes. 
routes out my park, takes a finish pass, takes a chamfer, chamfers all my park, all my holes, my slots. Nice feature to use with multiple park programming and the profiler. Now let's say for instance, finish up here. Let's just put this in the body bag for now. Let's hit bring in my modified part. Actually my revision B. I'm going to import my rev B part. And almost the same. A little bit different configuration. I'm just going to translate this over just a little bit. And again, I'm going to open up my tools, my processes I already have. I'm going to open up the profiler again. You can see the old toolpath. I'm going to open up the profiler again. You can see it threw my part there. Let me put my old part in the body back here. I'm going to select a new part. Click undo it or redo. And as you can see, now with very little effort, we finished Rev B. Thank you for watching the Gibbs Cam 5 Minute Demo. Cam 5 Minute Demo.